Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Wilson Ultra Pro V4 16x19. Straight out of the Wilson Pro Labs, this racket blends classic control-oriented build with a very maneuverable spec. The 11.4 ounces strong weight and fast feeling 317 swing weight make this a great option for players looking to maximize rack ahead speed for spin and pace. The straight, thin 20.6 millimeter beam connects players to their shots for precise hitting. Players looking for beefier plow through will find this a great option for customization into their own perfect pro spec. I'm a big fan of classic straight beam rackets and this one I found the groove with really quickly. I do prefer 18 by 20 string patterns and this Ultra Pro V4 comes in an 18, 20 version. So we're gonna review that one as well. Be sure to check out that review. And the 16, 19 version I found, I got more flight on my shots. So a little bit more loop, higher uh, trajectory. So getting more clearance over the net. But I was for the most part able to get the top spin and the slice needed to bring the ball back down inside the court. I found it was a really fast feeling racket and that helped me bring that tip speed in and add the spin to my shots to get the control I needed. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, it is a very fast feeling racket and it's primed for customization. I'd love to add a leather grip to this one, maybe a little bit of tungsten weight at the tip just to fine tune it and get it to the perfect spec for me. But even in stock spec, uh, I thought it was surprisingly stable for its weight. I enjoyed volleying with it. It's got a really plush feel at net, lots of control. And I didn't find it to get pushed around too much, even when I was playing against big hitting players. I found it to feel pretty solid up there. And it's just gonna get even more solid once I beef it up. Um, on serve, again, easy access to racket head speed, so I can carry a lot of pace on the first serve and get a little bit of slice on my serve too to get it dropping down into my target. So a, a fun play test for me, for me, but definitely a racket. I'm looking forward to customizing. I'm gonna state the obvious. This is a very pretty racket. It's glossy and beautiful. So it's one of those rackets that I wanted to keep hitting with. Luckily, we were also testing the 18 by 20, which also has that glossy paint. So fun play test, cosmetically speaking. However, for me, this is gonna be a good platform start of a racket. It's a little light. It got pushed around a tiny bit and I wasn't finding as much plow through as I would like, but I know with some customization, I could get it dialed in. However, something I've noticed with some of the more control-oriented Wilson rackets, they do have a different feel, and for me, I would define that as a dampened feel. I prefer something less dampened, and this racket definitely had the dampened feeling, so I didn't feel as connected to my shots. I know other players and many other play testers really like the dampened feel, but for me, just not my personal preference. Despite craving a different feel, I translated into point play really seamlessly with this racket and I found tons of synergy hitting big first serves with it. Excited today to talk about Wilson's update to the Ultra 97 Tour, now referred to as the Ultra Pro. This racket, as Chris mentioned, is definitely has a Pro Lab feel and quality to it. I own one of the 18 mains, the older ones, one of the Pro Stock versions. They play very similarly. And uh, as everyone else so far has mentioned, that it is definitely a light and maneuverable, you know, 11.4 ounce racket or 305 gram frame. It's kind of following that same balance of, say, an Extreme Tour or a new E-Zone 98 with a, a sub 320 uh, swing weight and about six points headlight. So it was a very speedy racket. For me, this kind of coaxed or induced me into trying to play a little more aggressively. Everyone knows I play more of a counter punch game. So myself, just to get into points and stay a little bit longer, I probably would give it the DTL treatment, adding a little weight to the hoop and maybe a leather grip and just kind of plush this racket out even more. Overall, it is just an incredibly incredible feeling racket you know the feel the pinpoint uh, directional control is there i would just want a little bit more weight to absorb pace uh, that way probably my favorite shot to hit with it uh, was the serve this has just been a common theme for most of my play tests lately uh, but overall just a great all-court racket that would probably add a little weight to love serving with it first thing i noticed when picking up this ultra pro 16 by 19 racket here is just the really nice uh, thin kind of classic frame profile to it. Also that's been talked about, the nice uh, shiny uh, blue glossy paint job, just a beautiful frame. Uh, really like just, just about everything that this racket offers as far as uh, control, precision, uh, very good comfort. Um, I will kind of note as far as the feel goes, it is a little bit uh, on the dampened side. And I know some of these 
uh, Wilson Pro Lab rackets have been known to have kind of like a foam feel in the hoop, so maybe uh, potentially that could do something with uh, the way it's dampened, but uh, really like the open string pattern here. We tested the Ultra Tour uh, a while back with the 18 by 20 pattern, and I like the, uh, the openness here. Um, that blend of control precision plus the spin you get on uh, like a kick serve, top spin serves, and uh, especially felt really good on those cross court shots from the baseline, those angles. But uh, overall, really enjoyed this frame. Uh, kind of hard to decide between the 16 main and the 18 main because the 18, I got a little bit more connection to the ball. But uh, overall, just a lovely frame, and I'll definitely be uh, customizing this in the future. For this review, we tried a variety of Copoly strings, but we really, really enjoyed the Luxalon ALU Power 1.25 at 52 pounds. For more information on this racket or anything tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.